Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 53rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the truncate table command and uh, the truncate command is used to empty a table of all the content. Right, so if you've got a bunch of records in a table and if you want to remove all the records in one go then uh, you can use a truncate table command and you know the delete command also serves the purpose but then there are some significant differences between delete and truncate. Now, before we talk about the differences between the two commands, another thing that we need to know about truncate is that when you use a truncate table command, the structure of the table remains intact, right? So, it will only remove the content, but it's not going to mess up with the, the structure of the table. So, the fields that you have in the table are going to be as is, right? So, now let's talk about uh, the differences between truncate and delete. So, firstly, truncate is a DDL command and uh, Delete is a DML command and what that means is that uh, when you perform delete operation on a table, you can roll it back, right? So if you've uh, deleted data that accidentally, you know, suppose and if you want to recover it, then it's possible with the delete command. But if you've used truncate on a table, then, you know, once you execute it, you cannot get your data back. And uh, another uh, difference is that when you use the delete command, you know, the space that was occupied by the data in the table in a memory, that space is not freed. So, you know, if you want to free that space, if you want to make that space available for something else, then you have to use the truncate command. And again, you know, this might not be something very significant for uh, small tables, you know, with like, let's say 15 rows or 20 rows. But then if you've got tables that have got thousands and thousands of rows, and if you want to, you know, free the data space that, you know, the data in the table uh, is occupying, then in that case, it would make sense for you to, you know, decide uh, properly which command you want to use, whether you want to use truncate or whether you want to use delete, right? So now let's check out uh, the syntax of the truncate table command and you know, let's just apply it on a table. So it's very simple. You just type in truncate, right? And then uh, table and then follow that up with the name of the table. So uh, let's say I want to remove all the data that I have in the tutorial table. So I'll just type in tutorial and uh, I'll put in a semicolon at the end and when I execute this, I won't get any uh, results there and that's because, you know, I'm not supposed to get one, but I can check out whether, you know, the rows that I had in the tutorial table, whether, you know, the data has been deleted or not. So to check that, I can run a select star from tutorial query. So there you go, when I execute this query, I see that there is no data in the table left. So that's it about truncate table. In the next tutorial, we're going to check out uh, something interesting again about SQL. Uh, maybe we'll talk a little about subqueries. So uh, thanks for watching this one. And you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.